Hello and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 43. In this video, I will be taking apart a line regulator. This unit is an APC Line R1200. What I believe is inside of this thing is essentially a transformer and then there's going to be a control circuit that just changes the taps on the transformer based on the input voltage. So if you get below a certain voltage, it'll step it up. If you get above a certain voltage, it'll step it down. There have been a few times where the voltage here has gotten too high and this has stepped it down. Now this isn't instant switching. There is millisecond delays, but that's where but that's where my battery backup comes in. Anyway, so let's take the screws out and take a look inside. Now before I get it totally apart, I'm going to kind of guess what's going on in here. I know there's a, definitely a transformer in here because of the weight of the thing. There's relays in here because you can hear it clicking as the voltage goes up and down or whatever as it gives a correct line output. And then there's going to also be a control circuit that's going to sense the voltage and control the relays. And there's all the screws, most of them anyway, and I just heard the last one. Before I take this cover off, let's take a look on the back here. There are four outlets on the back, and then there is a setting switch here. The settings are 110, 120, and 127. So if it's set to 120, it's not going to switch to lower the voltage until it gets above 125. If I set it to 110, it would be stepping up the voltage all the time which wouldn't give me any buffer for a low voltage condition, which I have had here as well. And then they have printed on the back here some info on the model. This is the 10 amp model. I'm gonna pause the camera and get the cover off. Right after I pause the camera, the cover just pop right off. So I went ahead and disconnected the wires to the power switch, which also is a circuit breaker. And here you can see, whoops, get it back in frame. Here you can see the light pipes for the indicator lights. As you can see here, we have the transformer and you can see the various taps going down to the circuit board and a bunch of relays to switch the various taps. We can see all the neutral wires, or the white wires, going to one location. And what looks like three different taps, which would make sense because you have the direct out, you have the high voltage step down, and a low voltage step up. And here's the power coming in, or the primary side of the transformer. And I can see the ground going straight through. Looks like there's also a little bit of surge protection in this thing. Now this doesn't add any noise to my system. 
which is a good thing because I want to keep my power supply as clean as possible since I have equipment dating back to the 60s and as new as some modern day stuff. The modern day stuff seems to be picky about whether you have a pure sine wave running it, being that a lot of it is computer controlled, whereas the older stuff will tend to be more picky about noise. I've had stuff act up from something as simple as turning on a compact fluorescent light. Anyway, we have a chip in here that has a sticker over it, so we can't really see exactly what it is. And there's the sticker. Well, there's not a huge amount to look at on this thing. There's a chip over here, and that's just nothing but a logic chip. Everything else is pretty simple. This is just a single-sided circuit board. There's uh, five relays in here. Not sure if this is a relay or not. Let me take a closer look. Well, that's not a relay. That is a capacitor. It says SD on it. Whatever that means. The only relays in here are these four brown ones and the one blue one. And you can hear those clicking as it does its thing. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.